Nigerians, leaders who are thinking about how to go to Niger and help the, the, the democratic government to come back and blah, 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 blah. You don't know what you are saying, you know. Something worse than what is happening in Niger will happen in Nigeria. Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So my people, Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka don't land again. According to him, the worst than what happened in Niger is coming to Nigeria if President Bola Ahmed Tinibu refused to submit himself to the will of God. This man talk a lot of things, you know, and most of the things that when he talk, it no be my mouth now. One for ten years, I'm I go let on I watch the video by on herself. But before then, I want to beg you all to please help me by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. So without wasting much of your time, let's watch the video. During the election, those who want to become governors, presidents, and whatever, local government chairman, House of Assembly members. House of Rest members, those who want to go to the Senate, they will import guns and bullets. They will share to our young unemployed men and women to use these hazardous, toxic, destructive equipment to win elections for them. Of course, rigging. After the election, the so-called election saga. After the so-called election saga. They will not be able to return the guns back. They have empowered the youth with the guns. To kill their opponents. After the election he said all these people thinking about creating jobs for these people. They will leave them with their guns. And banditry becomes the order of the day. The same people who gave them guns we call in the young men hoodlums. Hoodlums, bandits, what else? Terrorists. Unknown gunmen. Kidnappers. Armed robbers. As if they say they don't know them. Instead of giving them jobs, they gave them guns. When will Nigeria be okay? It is a sign of locking their destinies. Locking the destinies of their youths. But I want to tell you, when God is involved, when the Holy Ghost is involved, how the emancipation will come, nobody will tell it. How the liberation will come, Nobody will understand it. How the freedom will come. It will death everybody. It will be so astonishing. It will be so miraculous. It will be amazing. It may be so sporadic. It may be an activity that will happen like a lightning. Before you know it, it will happen like a thunder. Because it cannot continue like this. One day, a certain group of people will say, never Again. Nigerians, leaders who are thinking about how to go to Niger and help the, the, the democratic government to come back and blah, 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 blah. You don't know what you are saying, you know. Oh, you're be on a choke. Your house is on fire and you are pursuing a rat. Meanwhile, your family is inside the house and you saw a rat. You left the house that is burning and you are pursuing a rat. And those who set the house ablaze are coming with buckets of fuel. Save your house first. Heaven, let me tell you. Hello? Heaven is watching President Tinibu. Heaven is watching President Tinibu. If Tinibu submits to the power of God, God will use him to save this country. If he doesn't want to submit to the powers of heaven, 
Something worse than what is happening in Niger will happen in Nigeria. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know. But on a prophetic code, I am telling them, let them not think that Nigerians are stupid, Nigerians are weak. Because we knew a time when one dollar is equal to one naira. What has happened? Why can't we go back to such good moments? Look at it in the moment that we want to buy new vehicles or house of assembly, house national senators, no trouble. Why can't they buy from innocent? Why can't they use our local producers? Do they want our local producers to be locked up? They must be unlocked. They must be open doors. Those moments were when Anamco used to be in operation. In Kaduna, cotton mills will be happening here and there. Look at what is happening in Abana. The African hub of shoemaking, of bag making, Aba is a place where we can invest seriously and the Nigeria will be better than China. Abba is the Nigerian China. Nigerian Asia. Turn to Jesus. So the youth who are locked up, the locking up will not be eternal. It will not continue forever. You ask our leaders, some are planning on how to put things right. Others are there to steal, swindle, and uh, even grab and bamboozle the wealth of the country. So we can ask our House of Assembly members, what are you doing? You can ask the governors, what are you doing? Can you name a Look at government chairman, what are you doing? Mr. President, what are you doing? Are you? Imanayana Mambo Mbono Amamatara O Fekamara Mbe Kere Nkunkwa Nani Eche Kwe Nijia Eche Eche Ure Nijia And what we tell you That God doesn't want Nigeria To get involved in that rubbish The first aircraft Nigeria sent there Our youths are dying Our old men and women are dying Many pensioners are dying our hospitals are dying. Our schools are dying. Our lecturers are dying. Priests are dying. Pastors are dying. Kidnappers are almost taking over our bushes. What are they doing? there? Yeah. 